Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space. If you are new here, I post video tutorials on AWS LightCell, Azure, and other easy to set up and use web hosting tools and services. I also post video tutorials on WordPress tips and tricks. So if you are interested in that type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking all my videos and sharing all these videos for others that may be interested in this type of content. I've walked through the setup of a Docker-based web host management tool called CapRover. If you have not seen those videos, I'll link them down in the description below or put them up in the cards above. But one thing that I realized based on a viewer question was I didn't really cover how to access the WordPress file system that is deployed on CapRover. Uh, as a WordPress developer, most of us know that we need access to that to not only you know, modify the HT access file or the WP config file or you know, getting access to themes, plugins, and, and many other folders that we typically need in a WordPress development. Um, so I didn't cover that and the question uh, from the viewer was specifically around how to modify the PHP file upload limit. By default, it's two megs and we typically need to update that so that we can upload larger files. So in this video, I will show you how to access the WordPress file system in a Docker-based deployment and also how to upload, uh, update the PHP file upload limit. So without further ado, Let's get started. All right, so I have a, a LightCell instance um, I created and I set up CapRover on there based on my video tutorial. Um, so I have a CapRover server installed ready to go and I also installed a WordPress app within CapRover. And you can install these kind of apps, WordPress or many others using this one-click apps and databases. They have a lot of the apps built in into their repository, WordPress being one of them, uh, but they have many others. So if you're interested in uh, these other applications, you should check them out. Um, they, you can also install Docker-based images that are available in the main Docker uh, repository. And I've done the second video on this, uh, shows you how to do that. But I do have a WordPress uh, default installation. Um, if you look at right here, there's my WordPress site. And the file limitation that we talked about um, is uh, by default two megs. So if I were to add a new file um, here, we'll get that error message that the file exceeds the maximum upload size for the site. So how do we fix that? How do we fix the two meg um, issue? So let's log into the server using the web-based SSH. The path that we are going to go down is cd slash var lib docker volumes. And this is where all of the Docker-based um, uh, images store the file system. So we will go into, uh, we have two applications right now. Uh, one is the uh, MySQL database for our WordPress site, and the other one is the WordPress um, website itself. So we're gonna go into that. If you look under here, there's a underscore data folder and this file system should be familiar, familiar to all of you. This is our WordPress file system. So uh, to update the PHP file uh, upload limit, um, we will directly just do this through the HT access file. So go ahead and open that file up and we will add the two command lines. Um, uh, two uh, lines of code, the PHP post max size, and we'll increase that to 24 megs, and the PHP upload max file size to eight megs. And we'll save this file. Now, when we go back to our media library, we should be able to add that file that 
pre was uh, prevented last time. And there we go. And then you can see here, maximum upload file size is 8 meg. So this is how you can modify the maximum PHP upload file size and get access to the other files of WordPress uh, to uh, be able to do your WordPress development. So that's it. This was quick and easy. I wanted to get this out there. Um, I have been busy for the last few weeks or a couple of weeks, so I haven't posted my weekly videos, but I am going to get back into that groove again and uh, look for new tutorials every week from me. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with others that may also find it useful and subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, take care.